Hey drummers, how's it going? It's Alex once again, bringing you some more fun-free drumming ideas. For this week's lesson, we've got like a cheeky little single measure drum fill. Um, we're going to be using six stroke roll. We've got some bog standard 16th note single stroke rolls in there. And we've also got some hertz in there for good measure. So uh, if you like what you saw in the intro, and you want to give this one a crack, stick around and I'll break it down. Here we go. All right, so if we kick things off by learning beats one and two first, because it's all on the snare drum, and then we'll have a look at beats three and four where we've got that nice little hurter pattern. So beat one itself is just a six stroke roll, which is right, left, left, right, right, left, play the 16th note triplets or sectuplets, however you want to count it. So I'll be counting it one triplet and triplet, but you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, or there are a couple of other different ways as well. So let's just go over that quickly. We've got right, left, left, right, right, left, one triplet and triplet. And then for beat two, we're going to sort of play, well, I'm not going to sort off, we're going to play sort of single stroke, 16th notes, two, three, and four. But we're going to sort of climb up in volume with a bit of a crescendo. So we're going to get this. So one triplet and triplet, two, E, and four. It's quite hard to play slow. What I thought I'd do, if I just loop this little pattern around, because it does, it does sound quite cool once you start going. Yeah, I'll, I'll play it. You kind of get a bit of that tension release. So we want to climb up with volume for beats two. So if we take a look at this pattern from up there, I'll loop it around a couple of different speeds and then we'll swiftly move on to beats three and four. Here we go. Bit quicker. And even faster. All right, so we've got beats one and two done. Let's move on to beats three and four. Now for my favorite part where we get to play around with some hurters and we're gonna be coming off the high tom to the snare drum because it sounds great. And what you've got with the hurter, if, if you haven't seen some of my previous videos, basically you've got three 16th notes and in this case we're gonna take that first 16th note and split it into two 32nd notes. And those two 32nd notes are gonna be played up on the high tom. So we're gonna get this right, left, right, left. Okay, so we've got tom, tom, snare, snare. We're then gonna almost play exactly the same thing again. So we've got. Okay, and then we're gonna leave our left hand up on the high tom for the second hurt. So we've got tom, tom, snare, snare, tom, tom, snare, tom. All right, there she knows. Try that again. Tom, tom, snare, snare, tom, tom, snare, tom. And we've got two 16th notes, which we're gonna play down the floor top at the end. So you get this. It should sound a bit like that. Let's quickly pop up there. I'll play that a couple of different times, but I'll put a bit of a gap in between because it's quite hard to loop this one round compared to you know beats one and two. So uh, let's quickly do that and then we'll stick it all together. Here we go. So now we've got all that done, let's put it all together and chuck it into some groove. All right, here we go. Okay guys, there it is, short but sweet. Don't forget to pop over to onlinejobber.com if you wanna go and grab the sheet music for this particular lesson completely for free. Also, if you wanna be an absolute star and help support my channel, you can do so via Patreon, and there's a link down below for that. Also down there, you'll find uh, links to Facebook and Twitter if you wanna come and say hello. So until next time, take care, keep drumming, and I'll see you next Thursday for some more fun free drumming ideas. All right, bye.